Hello everybody, that is here. Very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today we're adding a fourth block to our 2022 review or roundup of CPU blocks in the market. We haven't done that for quite a few years, not much information. A lot of you actually mentioned that, that it's very lack of any kind of testing for CPU blocks, so we decided to do that for you. For those of you who missed previous video, you can see that I have a new version of my test bench. The reason for that, first three videos, first three tests I did was on my personal hardware on a computer on which I actually editing or going to edit this video. So I have to buy a new motherboard, new CPU, and I'm using all the GPU card. But uh, in order to make everything level up, I retested previous three blocks that we had. So we have uh, slightly different numbers because the silicon lottery a little bit better on the, this chip it runs a little bit uh, lower voltages for the same type of overclock I did before but nevertheless it's all taken care of don't worry so today we will talk about the most expensive block on the market at least as I'm aware of I don't think that Optimus is more expensive I'm pretty much sure that uh, EK Quantum Magnitude is the most expensive block on the market. So that's, that's what I have here. I didn't include it in the original test for the reason that it kind of have a specific design that um, the spacing for the screws, the type of the bracket that used, it's only work for a specific socket type. So unlike, let's say, some universal Intel blocks, you have a slotted cut out on a bracket so it can work on older and newer and different types of the sockets but this one it's exact so I couldn't mount existing magnitudes I had in stock on LJ1700 platform as spacing changed but now literally uh, just a week ago it was updated version available on the market so I took one out of my stock I couldn't get a sample from IKEA unfortunately so and um, I tried to test it out after testing all previous blocks so it took me a while so what we get here before we go into actual numbers I, I just would like to say I think important things what is magnitude block is targeting for. This is how it's positioned by IKEA and how I also understand it. This is a luxury item. It doesn't matter how it's performed, it's, it's a status item. So if you can afford like $300 block, at least in Canadian dollars, then you know everybody knows that you can afford it. It's the same like you know you can drive Honda Civic or you can drive a Porsche, right? And uh, both take you from point A to point B, but, you know, perception is slightly different. So keep that in mind. So this is very specific market for this block for people with money or somebody who just want to appear as rich people. So this is a rich guy's block. So having said that, after the test, what I got? Technically, it's very close to Velocity 2. I got only one degree difference which was attributed as I understand as I think actually mostly to the flow rate of this block this is a, the least restrictive block so far I tested if we remember for original velocity I have 2.3 liters per minute for velocity 2 I have 2.9 and for magnitude I have 3.2 so a little bit less restrictive more water coming through the block is taking heat a little bit faster and that spells out in one degree difference for the same overclock that we did before so it's a 5240 p cores 52 multiplier e cores 40 multiplier across all of them and uh, i was able to go a little bit lower voltage than before again and it's mostly attribute to the uh, more like a chip i got than actually in my home PC, but basically the difference between blocks, uh, between original blocks that I tested stays the same, so that's a good news. So basically we get barely marginally better performing block, but it's not about performance, this is about the perception. Few things that I would like to mention, like why 
what are the pluses of magnitude and what are the minuses. So, so for the pros on this blog, I would name few. As I mentioned, prestige is number one. Second, lower restriction, always welcome with any product. Secondly, it also doesn't suffer from the issues that I mentioned before in my videos. Then when you have a high-end motherboards with the massive heat sinks, it's actually too close to the CPU block. So traditional blocks with some screws that you put on with your fingers can be problematic because your hand just doesn't fit the space. For this block, we have a screws that goes into the mounting mechanism. You can actually use your screwdriver. So a restriction with high-end motherboards with the big heat sinks is not a problem here. Which is thanks God, because if you have such expensive blocks that most likely you buy is one of the most expensive motherboards going with it. So it's not a concern here. This is great. And uh, the only pros for this block I can mention, it's actually its price. So if we try to be, forget a little bit about performance, let's say you have money. And then you may be deciding between velocity 2 and magnitude. So if we brush off design-wise, because maybe you just like this design or that design, and that, that's your answer. But if we would try to rationalize it to a certain degree, let's say, I can spend extra 100 bucks, but like, do I really need to? So I would say that I personally would gravitate to Velocity 2 just because it has a, such a superior mounting mechanism, which has very consistent mounting results. With this block, I didn't have much trouble. It was more or less consistent between separate mounts that I did to make sure that uh, I mounted correctly. But with Velocity 2, I had it multiple times on the previous original videos and also had to retest it and do it on this motherboard. It just hit the nail in the head with every single mount. And that's a huge advantage. I don't think anybody else can touch Velocity 2 for the easy and consistency of the proper mounting. And for that reason, I would probably just less headache. I, I will go with Velocity 2. But again, listen, it's all about for you about e-pin rights, no other choice. This is the king type of the thing. Anyways, guys, that's uh, all we have for magnitude. I hope it helps you, give you some ideas um, and uh, some uh, things to consider. I appreciate your time watching this video. I see you soon with the uh, next blog that I also have in my possession. And we'll talk about XPX model from AlphaCool. I see you then, bye.